And a horrific crash in Chicago's Ashburn neighborhood sends six teenagers to the hospital, including several who are out for prom night. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross is live nearby the University of Chicago Medical Center, where the victims were all transported. Jeremy. Well, good afternoon, Dave. We are told by firefighters four victims transported here, but long before doctors got a chance to work on them, people at the crash scene jumped into action. Well, the accident happened so fast. Early Saturday morning, car parts and debris were scattered in the area of 79th and Homan. Before first responders got to the scene, some who heard the crash were driven to help, including Rob Schultz. We seen the car engulfed in fire, and in the back seat there was a couple of young kids. There was a lot of blood on the one kid's head that was unconscious. I was able to get him out through the window, and as I was dragging him to the curb, the car actually caught on fire. The teen he rescued was 16-year-old Savion Kemp, his mother, thankful for Schultz's quick actions, adding because of him, her son was able to get to the hospital for treatment of a fractured skull. According to firefighters, seven people were involved in the two-car crash, a half dozen inside this 2019 Nissan Rogue, all childhood friends, some attending prom earlier, all the teens taken to local hospitals, including Angela Montgomery's two sons, her 17-year-old managing to leave hours later. And he's actually in a wheelchair, but I had to wheel him over to the adult hospital because I can't leave my older son. It's bad when you have a young son at the children's hospital and you have an older son at the adult hospital and you're going back and forth. It's not a good feeling at all. 17-year-old Jeru Montgomery had neck, back, and leg injuries, but his brother, 19-year-old Jamil, suffered multiple bone fractures and remains hospitalized as doctors care for his spine, his parent caring just as much for the other teens involved. I'm just trying to find out about how the other children are doing. I'm a parent. I'm a mom. Now the cause of this crash remains under investigation. Firefighters are telling us that three others last listed in critical condition, one last listed in serious condition. Live outside the University of Chicago Hospital, Jeremy Ross, CBS2 News. Dave. Thanks, Jeremy. Keep us posted.